In this movie, we're going to be looking at modular products and how to correctly insert input and output modules into a rack mount subframe or chassis. So we've started with a rack layout drawing into which I've inserted an 18U generic rack. And in this drawing, you can see that we have a grid. The grid is 1U high and 1 inch across. And the grid makes it very easy to insert rack mount products into a 19 inch rack. So let's choose a product. We'll choose something from the Crestron digital media range. We'll select a switcher and we'll choose the DM MD 8x8. And you can see that as I move this product around it's snapping to that grid and that makes it very easy to position it at the right U location inside my rack. Now let's zoom in and go to the rear view and you can see that this product has got some optional module slots to cater for input cards and output cards. So let's choose an input card, the DMC-C. You can see that when I drag this card into the drawing it too is snapping to the rack grid. But when I go close to the I.O. slots these slots don't conform to the same grid standard. So it's actually impossible to locate that options module. So how do we resolve this? Well, the first thing to do, and this is the only time that you should do this when you're working in a rack layout drawing, is turn off the snap to grid modifier. What we then do is bring up the layers dialog and you can see that there is a layer called module targets. Turn that layer on and you can see these red module targets or bow ties as we sometimes call them and these indicate the insertion point for the input cards and the output cards. The final thing we need to remember is to turn on the snap to path modifier. This allows the cursor to snap to the midpoint of the module target. So now let's choose that input card again and you can see that it snaps straight to the correct place. Let's choose some other input cards, the DMC CAT, DMC DVI, and a DMC VID BNC. Now let's also choose an output card. So we'll choose the uh, DMC CATO HD, and that locks into the output card slot just as nicely. And you're done. It is as simple as that. When you've completed the location of your modular input and output cards, it's very important to undo the actions that you've just taken. So turn off Snap to Path, turn on Snap to Grid. And this way, when you add more rack mount products into the rack, you'll be able to locate them using the rack grid. And it really is as simple as that. Thank you for watching this movie.